feel like I'm in the the ocean of unknowing and the lake of unknowing and the flight of unknowing. So I really related to your meditation. In the last couple of days, I have not felt very grounded and I've just... It's okay. I don't think you had to be that grounded. Spirit is really strong with you. This is just really working you, freeing you from a lot of misconceptions about yourself and about what God expects of you. Angel immigrant in a human world. <laughs> That's the name for your book. <laughs> Somebody remember that for me. <laughs> um, I just say, you have this really, it's so funny, I somebody's chuckling up there because uh, in here um, you have this <laughs> there's all this laughter you have this very silly idea that you are somehow cut off from the great archangels especially Mikael because you have a body you know it's like um you, what they're saying to me is you, you, you think, I'll just tell you how I'm hearing this, not, not claiming its accuracy, this is just how I'm hearing it, you, it's like if you want to know the archangel Mia Kael, now, you know, I was just reading, um, there's an, I share that I've never read a book on angels. I've never even been able to get through a, a, a page of, on angels. It's just, it, I kind of drop it like it's going to burn me. Not because I don't, I mean, I want to. It's just, for some reason, I've just had to go directly other than, you know, J.R., the things he's said. Um, but I am starting to read this book finally a little bit from Edgar Casey, And he talks all about Mikael as the... Um, harbinger of the Christ. And Rudolf Steiner said the same thing. I only know this because of reading this book. Um, Rudolf Steiner said the same thing. Archangel Michael is the harbinger of the Christ, is the one who brings us to the Christ. And so he's considered much more than like just an archangel. It's really like the Christ and Michael. One and J.R., there's this beautiful quote from J.R. where he says, um, he talks about Christmas, the Christ Mass, and he says the Michael Mass. He says, because the Archangel Michael and the Christ are one. And he says, that's not written in the Bible, but it is written in the Christ. And so um, this is the, class, the way of the Christ. He uh, just said, You're, you did not come here because you fell. You came here because you wanted to know more the co-creatorship with God, free choice. Um, remember we talked about angels don't have free choice until they become an archangel? And like that's a... And forgive me if I'm repeating things. I don't, at this point, I don't remember which class I said what in. But the, that when they... And this applies to a lot of people in here and online too. Um that it's that thing of like, I don't want to choose because I never want to choose away from you, Lord. But you see, you can't. Even if you chose into darkness, that is not, you can't choose away from God. Then you just have that experience and you give God that experience. And there's no time and it's already all done and completed. So the Lord's just going, you know, yippee, I get to learn from that now instead of this. But as an angel, or as an angel immigrant, this whole thing, choice, 
And all this uh, truth is obfuscated here. You know, nothing is apparent. There's so much Shamira illusion here, where in the angelic, it's, you know, for people who are supposed to be in robes and all ethereal, they're very straightforward compared to this, right? It's very straightforward. You, you got your, you got, you know what your function is. You got your 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 papers. You know what you're doing. It's all very straight, right? Now it's an incredibly beautiful creation. I mean, angels have great branding. Everybody loves angels, and it can be slower than here. Now we talked about the three-legged stool. I think that was just today. Was that today? <laughs> you are not the only one who's in the unknowing here. <laughs> um, so the three-legged stool, right? It's very stable. So, and also the angels are in a collective consciousness. So you think of like marching um, a million men across uh, uh, across the desert. It's going to take longer because of all the needs of them than than one person moving across the desert, right? It's going to go a lot faster. Well, because they move in a collective consciousness, it can take longer to grow. It's quite beautiful, but it takes, can take longer to grow. Here, we're kind of the Lone Ranger, so we tend to, we can, if we have that heritage recently or a lot of it, we can tend to feel rather alone here. What do you mean I'm in this body and I've got to do everything, you know? We feel separate. We feel like these bodies separate us, except that it's all illusion but it is a way to grow exponentially faster. Right? So the confusion looks like you think that this keeps you from communing with Mikael, with the Christ, even in that way, through that venue, through that vehicle, meaning the Mikael. Um, and this actually is a way for you to know the multidimensionality of God, including the angelic, including the Christ, including the traveler, including the physical, astral, causal, mental, etheric, everything. That doesn't mean it's easy, especially for an angel immigrant. <coughs> right? And so you tend to think this is slow because you still have this thing, and this world with its, you know, endless confusion of paying bills and people lying and politics and climate change and et cetera, et cetera. Right? It just seems like, and I have to drag this body thing around and it just all seems slow and tedious. Mm -hmm. So you think you must be being punished to be here. Mm -hmm. Why actually you asked to be here? To understand this free choice thing, because when you got that in the archangelic, it was onerous. It was excruciating. It was really tough. You can get it there. Certainly you can, obviously, because there's a bazillion, I don't know about bazillion, but there's many, many archangels, okay? So you can get it there. It's just you, you wanted to get it here and understand that. But you see what? You can experience that level concomitantly to this. And the really cool thing about that is then you have all the acumen of what you've learned there, the absolute surrender and all the angelic qualities. And you have all that you've learned here and you put the two together, that's exponential God consciousness. You just need to ixnay the I must have done something wrong thing. And that this keeps you from Mikael or any other great archangel that you want to ride like the bird straight up into out of your body and into the heart of God. How is this landing inside of you? No pun intended. I really relate to what you're saying. And I, I mean, especially right now, I related to what other people shared about the physicality of what's happening for them right now. It's like, it does, it kind of feels like a punishment or something that I yeah. don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Are you experiencing a lot of physical challenges? Or? Yeah. Do you think that makes means that you're doing something off or wrong or if you were totally in alignment, your body would be perfect? Can I tell you, I'm on four painkillers sitting here. I have a, um, 
<laughs> they're little ones, but I have, a, I have an infection right now. Does that mean I'm not spiritual? Could. Or it could mean, you know, I mean, I had, I had cancer. Does that mean I'm not spiritual? Could. It was also the, possibly the, you know, one of the biggest blessings of my life because of all I learned from it. So I hear you, we all prefer not to have aches and pains and physical things go on. But, um, and I don't think you know enough to judge. You know, sometimes the illness itself is clearing. Is it always a reflection of something going on in your consciousness? I'm going to go out on a limb and venture to say, yeah. But so what? Maybe that's how you clear that thing. You know, and if you shift your consciousness, can it go away? Well, that was my experience with the cancer. That was his experience with scoliosis, you know, supposedly incurable condition. Does it mean you're doing anything wrong if you, if you, well, you know, I should have been able to shift my consciousness and not have the infection, but I have, well, I didn't, you know, <laughs> it's there. Sitting is not all that easy, but here I am five hours later completely focused and with you guys, right? And you have the title of your book. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I guess you got my back there, baby. I appreciate that. Well, no, I registered in his name. <laughs> but, you can buy, but you can buy it for $10,000. <laughs> 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 Eric's got the song exactly. <laughs> oh, I the other thing I wanted to share with you is all this laughter reminds me of it. Is um, you're doing so well, you know? When I was saying I was hearing all this laughter, then I heard all this cheering for you. All of us, to some extent, but this was specifically for you. Someone said to me, uh, I feel like you're graduating. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I related to that a lot. And I'm just like, I'm graduating into what? <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like. That's the adventure. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a, a lot of karma through your lives of what they're calling military karma, where you got very locked into the mindset of right way, wrong way, and extreme consequence for doing wrong way. And imposing it on other people because that was imposed on you and then imposing it on yourself because you impose it on other people because that's how karma works. And so a big part of your existence, one of the reasons you came in female was to learn gentleness, softness and <laughs> delicacy and being nice, nice to yourself. And so... You've been learning it, but it hasn't come easy because something you has your story and your habit. And so it's quick to want to go back to the other thing and to look at the way you are in your situation. And, well, come on, soldier, get up. Let's, you know, let's get going. And you shouldn't be stopped. You shouldn't be not able to perform your task. And you recognize that place inside. But that's part of what's being undone here. In my last, um, the last time I did CHH, I experienced a gentleness towards myself that I'd never experienced before. Exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. 
And by the way, it looks like that militant right wrong black and whiteness was partly a reaction to being an angel immigrant because then it was then there was the you know the just tell me what to do mm -hmm. and I'll do it you know black or white those are the two choices right or wrong yes or no but you can as you as you have gotten your sea legs here as it were and gotten used to it you can now let that go and trust yourself more and open up to Mikael he's right there with you he's standing right in and through you <laughs> Meanwhile, you're going, where are you? And he's like, um, in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> During your angel class, and we were calling in the angels, and um, I was sitting at my dining room table and tuning into which angel was present, and I was like, his wings were my wings. Mm -hmm. That's how it came forward. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. And you can experience that more now, here, with a body, than you could there without. Because of your level of evolution and because you made this brave choice. That's my intention. Mm -hmm. So go up into the spirit on your shared wings. Mm.